drop a like and do share leave your comments and do not forget to subscribe for more videos good morning students welcome to edupediaworld.com your online gateway to the world of invaluable knowledge welcome to the new session during our last discussion we tried to understand the concept of time value of money we tried to understand that why money gets attributed with a value with the passage of time we also try to understand that why investors or corporations alike require a required rate of return or a kind of a compensation when they are parting away with their current cash flows in exchange of a future promised cash flow we try to understand that why in the present day time the cash which belongs to an individual or to a company is of higher value than the cash which they shall be receiving down the line after some years then we try to understand that how exactly cash flows are segregated between themselves due to a time differentials and we also try to understand this segregation in the life of the financing decision investment decision as well as your liquidity or dividend decisions then during the close of our discussion we tried to get a brief introduction of a very important concept of compounding wherein we were trying to calculate the or ascertain the future value of those cash flows which a company or an individual is parting away at present day time or t0 we try to understand that when a company or individual is investing their funds at the present day time or at t0 they should try to ascertain the future value or what exactly shall be the final amount they shall be getting from the investment which they are doing right now after an n number of years down the line we try to understand that how this process can be made more fruitful how this process can be made effective with the help of a concept of compounding then we also discussed that compounding is a process in which the future value of a present cash flow is ascertained with the help of the concept of compound interest so regarding compound interest we talked about on that day that compound interest is a concept wherein the principal earns an interest upon herself and that interest is being added back to the principal so that next year the new principal becomes the existing principal as well as the interest which has been added there upon so when this process goes on for n number of years down the line n number of stipulated years down the line then what happens is that every year whatever interest is being earned on an increased principal that increased cash flow or that additional cash flow in the terms of an interest is added back to the existing pre increased cash flow which results into an compounding effect which results into an aggregation of an increased cash receipts after a number of years but the only consideration was that the assumption was that during the intermittent years or during the entire length of the time whatever cash flow is being earned that is being allowed to stay put or it is being allowed to stay invested into the corpus and they are not supposed to be taken out so we have also discussed that how exactly the concept of compounding or the compound interest is of utmost value why it is much more valuable than the simple formula of simple interest and it also helps the investors and the companies to know actually that what exactly should be the future value of the investments which they are making right now or at present or at the t0 students we also saw on that day that comparability of cash flow plays a very important role across all the important financial decisions because cash flows need to be compared because as we saw on that day that cash flows are differentiated um, they are being separated amongst themselves due to the differences time due to the length of the time so it seldom happens that whatever cash flow we are investing right now we are getting the return on the same day so it happens more often than than, than not that there are there are many such decisions wherein either the cash flow in terms of the cash receipt or cash payment takes place in at present while their potential benefit or their outflow takes place in certain years down the line so it becomes very important for the business managers to see whether the current decision of initiating a cash flow in terms of inflow and outflow is prudent enough whether it is wise enough whether it should be taken into consideration keeping the fact 
that the future length of time is going to be uh, of a longer duration. We also saw that since businesses are being managed on the going concern basis, so investors or, or the, the financial managers, they cannot shy away from their duty of making this cash flow comparable. It is not possible, it is a ridiculous assumption to assume that in that case the managers shall sit idle, which never happens. Rather, they have to take a decision, financial decision, no matter how far-fetched the time is. But such a decision should not be whimsical, rather they should be based on certain scientific inferences and certain scientific help and techniques and the calculation of time value of money with the help of two aspects of compounding and discounting which which we shall be uh, taking up in a further details it helps the managers in making the cash flows comparable thereby helping them to arrive at a more sound financial decisions so students one more thing that under the future value concept under the future value concept we should always try to keep in mind that the calculation of compound interest or the computation of the future value it takes place in the form of three kind of cash flows. They are usually the, either the lump sum or an annuity or a sinking fund transfer. A lot about them when we proceed gradually. But one thing is for sure, the compounding interest formula or the compounding part, it, uh, the plinth, it forms the basis upon which even the formula of discounting is, is also being taken up. So uh, at the hem of the affairs, at the, at the nucleus, at the core, this concept of compounding lies based upon which all the future concepts are being developed around so it shall be very imperative for us to try to understand very clearly that how exactly the, the formulation of compounding is is working how exactly the process is working so that when we take up the the other concepts things become very very easy for us to understand okay student that's all for now in the next session we shall be taking this concept forward thank you